Here we have the 3x3 tent, guys. Powered by the one and only Spider Farmer SE5000 with the LM301B diodes by Samsung. And with UV, my friends, and infrared. I'm pretty sure those ones that are looking like info and they're red, I'm pretty sure those there are info reds. Now that being said, <laughs> these videos are brought to you by Spider Farmer, the fine folks at Spider Farmer. We wouldn't have got very far without them, would we have? Code Green Magic saves you 8%. I'm going to try to get that changed over to 10% and I'm going to try to take the loss. I'm going to try. I'm going to try to take the loss. <laughs> Well, what I'm going to do is ask them, can we take it off of my end and put it onto their end? Because that's how I roll. I think you guys deserve that. I think you guys deserve 10%. So, that being said, you know, 3x3 three three tent with the Spidey Farmer. We zip tie a fan up here, guys. Now, that's a good little trick. Good little trick that I've been doing since day one. Never seen anybody else do it. Until I started doing it, but people will argue that. I'm sure somebody's figured it out long before me. But I zip tied up there, guys. Amazon fan, cut that out so you can, uh... You know, I'm going to start being a little more in detail because I know most 90% of the viewers are new growers. And I got to realize that and keep in mind that, you know, it's going to be new. Majority of you guys are going to be new growers watching this stuff. So, this is for advanced, this is for new growers, this is for everybody. This is for your grandma, your cousin, your little brother, your little sister even. As long as they're 21 and older. So, fan zip tied, $20 cheap fan, Amazon. Another one down here. We have four photo period plants. Oh, forgot about the ventilation. You got to have the ventilation, guys. Now... This is the Spider Farmer 6 inch inline fan. Computer, my friends. Now, moving on to the good stuff, we have four photo period plants, guys. They are all in two gallon plastic pots. Now, the medium is HP Promix. You know, I love my HP Promix. We vegged them the entire time with. Well, you got to use your worm castings. You can pick any ones. I use the Gaia green ones, and I'm actually switching over to another kind. Well, I'm going to use both. I usually throw a little bit of extra perlite in there if I have it. You don't have to. Um, then I veg them out with a Gaia green, and then we bridged over to Green Rush. Gotta love the good old Green Rush. It goes with Green Magic, too. Who would have thought, right? Green Rush, Green Magic. Hell yeah, it was meant to be. I just happen to have some right here in my pocket. So, that stuff right there, guys. Beautiful stuff. It's instant organic, water-soluble stuff. Absolutely love it. Info will be in the first pinned comment and in the description. And again, code green magic saves you 10%. And on Amazon too, guys. Make sure you use my code. So many people buy it and don't use my code. Do you not want to save 10%? And it honestly helps to fuel the giveaways, guys. I spent $3,000 on all of those um, souvenirs that you guys see. And with the other souvenirs, like all the, uh, with the stickers and all of that other stuff, it's like th over, like almost $3,300, guys. Like, I shit you not. So yeah, it just helps offset, you know, some of that cost. But um, first one, guys, we have is Puff Puff Gas. These are all AQ genetics. I keep forgetting to mention that, too. The same genetics as I got, same ones I use for the giveaways, guys. I got lots of these. Man, and I am blown away. These are almost like, we're going to be cutting the newts out this week, guys. So it is Saturday. I almost forgot what day it is, dude. It's Saturday by the day is the very next day, guys. And it's a puff, puff gas, the one directly behind it. This girl, holy, look at that. That's Michigan breath. Oh, no, we have, okay, I was like, no, something's not right there. That's not it. That's Michigan breath. Right directly behind it. And then to the left over here, we have another puff, puff gas. They're so close to being done now. A couple weeks, guys. And then 
another Michigan breath here. Not as frosty as its counterparts, but look at this one. Oh man, beautiful. Just beautiful, guys. Woo, hell yes. So I'll show you what we're gonna be doing today and we'll wrap it up. Okay, so you guys remember that was full dose for the last one. Now what I'm gonna do is take this nasty piss looking water because what I did was I took these and moved them over so there was some on it. Oh no, I got some on my screen. Oh well. And yeah, that's what it looks like today. But I'm gonna dilute this with that. So it'll be like one third of a dose. There, as you guys see, I took that into there. So it's really, it looks strong, but it's like not even one third of a dose, I'd say. So I'm gonna pH that and then we're gonna go feed them. Now, this is where I would mess up all the time when I was brand new, guys. You know, I'd pH it real quick, get it to 6.3, and then bang, grab some water and head in. You got to make sure it's stabilized. Wait 10 minutes, come back, check it again. Most likely, it'll change, guys. You usually have to pH it two or three times before it stabilizes perfect. Now, make sure that it is. Now, that is nice and stable at 6.3, so we'll grab some and head in. Plant dad. Hell you. Yeah. I believe this should be in 4K and it smells so fruity in here, guys. Each plant is gonna get exactly one liter each. That's a half a liter each. Do the same and then back and then back. You guys know. See you tomorrow. And here we are the next day, guys. It is Sunday. Not much going on today, guys. We're going to be cutting newts after what's gone here. Um, that's going to be it. Because you guys can see, they are coming along quick. They ain't got much longer left, guys. Especially this one at the front and back there. Look at this one. It's looking beautiful. Let's see what it looks like with the lights out. Try some more light out shots. Oh, wow. My God. Look at that. They smell really sweet. And all of these buds are just like extremely dense, guys. These ones are more like earthy smelling, like cushy. And these ones are, um, the other strain Michigan breath is more like sweet smelling. It's an interesting smell in here right now, guys. I tell you that much. I'll show you what we're going to be giving them today, and uh, we'll wrap it up. Keep this video as short as possible. He's not going to budge, eh? Are you alive? Yeah, he's alive. He's just lazy. So, this is what we had left from yesterday. I gave the outdoor plant some. I actually put in a couple more liters of water, guys, so I know it looks really uh, potent, but it really isn't. It's less than half strength now, so, well, once we top it up, it'll be, it'll be less than half strength. It'll be like one-third strength, probably, and then tomorrow, I'll do the same thing until it's all gone, and then we're just going to keep uh, the newts out, guys. Pretty basic, just it's going to be a taper down. And I'm only doing it because I don't want to waste any. And we'll just do the taper down and boom. Pretty simple. So, yes, and one pain in the butt is you will have to scrub the buckets kind of after if you do leave them overnight. They do get all coated on there, but it's not a big deal. And man, from it sitting overnight and it being warm in here, oh, it smells like some true sewer water now. And shout out Bugzooka, guys. I'm still seeing people... Um, Couple of different people have contacted me about bugs. I'm like, have you not seen my videos? Actually, I got a bottle of it right here in my pocket, actually. Bugzooka, what do you know? Just happened to have it on me. 100% organic. This stuff is awesome, guys. And you know what I was thinking? It's pretty cool. So check this out. I'll show you guys everything. Since this video is not, we're not going to have that much to do this week, guys. It's just going to be... Pretty much cruise control from here on out. So I got this up here. I'll let you guys check that out. You can pause it and read that. So I'll show you all the bug stuff I use. Like you have you have to have bug stuff, guys. You can't, you can't just not do integrated pest management. 
I keep some of that stuff for if I do get thrips, I can just blast them bad. But I don't even think I'll have that problem anymore um, because of the bug zooka. And you might want to keep some diatomaceous earth on hand. That stuff, no longer need it because the, the bug zooka does it all. So that's what I was using in the past, guys. And another one that works good, neem oil. And it's organic. So I was thinking even if you wanted, you could mix it in. You could mix that stuff up, put a few drops of neem oil in. I don't think it would interfere with the other, uh, the other ingredients in there because it's all organic. And it might even supercharge it and make it better. That's something maybe they could look into adding in the future. But yes, guys, I highly recommend this stuff. I've been using this stuff for a while now. I was using this months before I showed it to you guys. Months and months before I showed it. And like I've been saying all along, I always get bugs by now. And you guys that have been following me since day one, you guys know that. And they got me a code now. We got a code, Green Magic, guys. It will save you 15%. So... That's awesome, guys. If you want. All right. Look at this mess. Eh? I'm going to fill this one up here. Oh, go down there, Ribbert. That's enough. I'm going to give that a good stir and then I'll pH it and we'll give them a liter. So we're stabilized there at 8.3. We're definitely going to need some pH down. And that is pH down. Two different people have asked me again. No, lemon juice will work. I used the lemon juice that was in there. I tried it. My friend told me to try it. It does work, but it doesn't stay stable very long. And the amount that I was going through, it just didn't make sense to use it. So I got me some pH down, which actually, that stuff right there, guys, works awesome. So we need a little more. I'll just usually leave it there with the lid off too, so then I can just grab it and oh, need some more. That will probably do it. Still wasn't enough. That should be enough. So that did the trick. We got our stable at 6.2. But I am really blown away with how these plants are turning out. I didn't think they were going to turn out this nice. Imagine if I had it went in five gallons, guys. Woo! Good thing I got lots more seeds. But you guys know the rule. They'll get one liter each. That was a half a liter each. And I will check back in tomorrow. Monday. It is a holiday here, apparently, so everything is closed. Nobody's at work. What do you know, eh? The town is busy. Well, actually, the town isn't busy. The highway is going back. To the cities are busy. Look at that. Look at that curling and crunching. And what do we got? Some tacos, man. Anybody for tacos? That's what we got going. But you know what? I don't even care, guys. You want to know why? Because look at those they look absolutely beautiful oh yes so like i said guys we are going to cut the new rest of the nutrients down that we have out there it'll be like i don't even know by now one fourth one fifth strength maybe and uh yeah after that we'll be just down to plain water and we're going to go plain water for i don't know a couple weeks i'd imagine and by then they should be nice and ripe to nice and ripe for the pickings. So let's do this. Well, well, here we are. Like I said, I know it looks like it's, I even put more in there um, yesterday. I think I put two more liters in, but we're just gonna mix the rest of that into there. So instead of doing this, I might as well just pause it and dump the whole thing in, right? Well, there we have it. So I'm going to pH that and then we'll go water them. So we're at 7.2, we'll have to add some pH down. That should be enough, we'll see. Whoopsie, whoopsie. A little bit more, a little bit more will do the trick. That will work. 
All right, she's been bubbling for a little while, and she is stable at 6.0. It's a tad little low, but it really doesn't matter that much at this point, guys. Good enough. Ooh, that fan's on still. How did I miss that? The freaking audacity of me. All right, that's a half a liter each one, guys. Going to do the same back there and then do it over once more. So they'll get one liter each. Pretty basic. Here's a nice shot. Oh, yeah. See you tomorrow. Well, well, it's Tuesday, the next day, my friends. You know what's cool? We got actually four very. Um, four very different phenotypes I've uh, noticed here. So you got the puff puff gas, right? You got this one. This pheno, it looks like this. It's like fatter, buds, the purple. And then these ones back here are more dense. They're more like orangish color hairs. Not as like, I don't know, they're just different. And then, the Michigan breath at the front. It's like more skinnier, fruitier smelling, really dense buds. And then, Michigan breath back here, these are really fat. And oh, I can't even explain the smell of them. But it is amazing, guys. Like <laughs> this Michigan breath, that pheno, and this one. Oh, baby. I am so glad I got like five or six packs at least of each one still so yesterday all i did was i gave them half a liter each and then i took one liter and broke it up between the four because it didn't, really didn't need that much actually that one's drinking pretty fast that one back here the far back left one is not drinking as quick and either is this one like i can tell this one's almost done that one's finished. They're all finishing up. They're all going to be done within the next couple weeks, guys. I'm going to have to get the microscope out for these ones just to make sure. So we got this here. It's from yesterday, guys. It's so, so diluted down. But um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to give them that today, and that's it. We're just going to cut them off. And I think a good two weeks just plain water, and they should really uh, ripen up just nice but like i said i'm going to check them with the microscope just to be sure because they are finishing up but really quick so what we're going to do is check this like you guys seen this is what i mean we just ph this yesterday right it was all stable now let's check this today and see what it's at now well it uh it held fairly good today guys well actually no you remember it was at six it was at six that's right so uh that's what i mean it actually went up a whole 0.5. It's been about two minutes I've been letting this just sit here to make sure it's not going to move anymore. Interesting. So I'll put a bit of pH down. Actually, you know what? I'm going to just leave it. We're fine. We'll just leave it there. This is its last feeding and then plain water. Like this stuff is turning out so freaking nice, guys. This might be some of the nicest stuff I've grown to date. We will see what it, what they look like um, when they finish up. When they start showing their true traits, their true colors, my friends. It'll be interesting. That's a half a liter each, guys. I'll do the same thing again, and I'll see y'all tomorrow. Well, well, my friends, it is Friday. We have skipped ahead by a few days, only because nothing has happened, and we have only been feeding plain water, so there's no point of checking in every day to show you guys that. So literally, we just switched over to plain water, pH in it, Anywhere from 6 to 6.5 is fine. And they look like they got, I don't know, a couple weeks left, guys. And they're, uh, 
they're really starting to get some nice colors. Man. The closer this strain gets to being done, the more I like it, guys. Oh, come on, stop shaking. It's hard holding these in there. Look at that, eh? Wow. Look at that one in there. They got some good bud shots. Holy. That almost looks like a nan. Is that the nan? No, it's not. No, it's not. It almost looked like one, guys. Look at how fat that is, man. Let me see if I can give you guys a perspective. God, oh, it's hard. I can't get in there. It's, uh, the light is too, too close down. Look at how nice that looks. This camera is banging. Wow. That spider farmer looks on fire. Beautiful. So I was trying to kind of count, guys, and there's like over, I'm pretty sure there's over 75, like, main branches like this. And that is absolutely crazy. I think this is going to be my biggest yielding 3x3 three three grow yet, because just of the pure density. Um, it doesn't look like there's going to be any real larf in here, guys. Except for maybe some of the little, that's a rubbit. Oh yes, we can re remove any ribby rubbits that you see. They simply rub off. I'll give you guys some shots in the dark here. Oh yeah. That one, this, um, this one here at the back, this is absolutely so dense, guys. It is crazy. <laughs> There's a hair. And I want to apologize, you know, if, if I uh, push the advertisements a little too much sometimes, guys. It's just Bugzooka, Green Rush, and Spider Farmer. Are three companies that I truly believe in. And I have not had nothing but success with them. Look where it's taken me. So... Um, shout out to all them, and I apologize for pushing them so much, guys, but they are the reason I am able to do this so much now. And they are the reason I will be able to continue to do this for many, many, many more years, guys. I'm telling you, all these channels are falling off. I am here for good. You guys are never getting rid of this ugly, mug, and annoying voice. I'll be here until the day I die, my friends. And that is going to be it for today you guys have a wonderful weekend be safe um the f upcoming months are going to be uh lots lots of videos coming oh there are so so many new subscribers like an insane amount lately guys we're about to hit 10k like this weekend so that being said i've been getting a lot of um emails and stuff and guys you got to um, like any future videos, be subscribed, and drop a comment. Any comment, fire emoji. And I only do that because that's the way I can pick a winner. Because I use the YouTube comment picker. That's the one way I can make it fair for everybody. And lots of giveaways to come, guys. Love you all. Signing off.